Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my channel everybody. So I am currently working on my paper pumpkin alternatives for June 2023. This is video number four. Uh, the kit is called Welcome In. Um, and it coincides with the Countryside Inn suite. So I am first going to show you, this is like, probably got one more of these in here where I show you this stuff and then uh, I'll be done. I think there's so much of it out there that it's unnecessary to do it every single time. So this is the instruction sheet and these are beautiful detailed instructions on how to make the projects. If you are so inclined to make them as they come in the kit, and y'all know that I don't, it's kind of my thing. This is the flyer for July's paper pumpkin. It's called Fun in the Sun. It looks really darling. So let me show you what you've got in the paper pumpkin. So we had three Knight of Navy card bases, which I have yet even to get into. Um, three of this beautiful, uh, paper, which also matches the DSP paper country side and DSP. And there is this beautiful clips of coral, which I think is the shading on it is just divine. And then these are the envelopes. So I am going to have a lot of projects with this one. Then the ephemera or punch outs, whatever you want to call it. I got a little bit of ink on this one. These banner strips, uh, these behind here are blank. This one has flowers. This has a little detail, a daffodil delight. These three vases, you got a stack of these white ones. Okay, unclip them. Um, we've got quite a bit of those and we're going to be using two of these little vases today. And then let me put those back on here. Otherwise they were going everywhere. You've got three of these little banner strips. This is actually a frame that you could use on or off, whatever you would like to do. And these just have flowers. And then the little hello friend. I wish they had put hello friend in the stamps. Um, the stamps. Oh my goodness. Let's see. They're down here. I forgot about that. I thought I had it all together. It never fails. It never does. Let's see. Okay. So we have this image, which we might use that. Welcome. Thank you for the hospitality. You're invited. This little stem, friend, and the little flower. Um, the hospitality one I won't be using because I won't be using any cards like that. You're invited. I won't be using that one. The friend, it's okay. I have used the welcome, but... Um, I had to go somewhere else for my sentiments. I've used the vase, so I use this one and this one. Like I said, we might use that one. In fact, let me pull it out. It's even on a paper pumpkin block. So let's just pull that out just in case. Now, I do have a sample to show you. Um, this is just a rough sample. This is me playing around. So here you go. This is called a double twisted easel card. Now I saw this design from Miss Patty Bennett and I absolutely loved it. Um, I needed to put this a little farther up so I'll have to take note of that. This is just the basic design. It folds down. It does go flat. Um, the front is lacking but it is a beautiful, beautiful uh, design. This just needed to get scooted up more. Um, so, and I did change it. I changed this little mechanism on it, um, to suit me. Um, so let's try to do a better job. I did not, I'm going to tell you, you really need to be careful when you score it because you really need to get point to point because this one was a little off. So I'm going to set that over here so I can remember what I'm doing. 
And like I said, we are going to do our card base together. Let's go over what you're going to need. And I think I forgot my card base here. I know I have it cut. It's just in the box. I didn't pull it out. So let's do that. All right. Oh, I even have one that is scored. So we are going to do this. Now I am using some of that countryside in DSP. This is not thick cardstock. This is, I didn't want that. So we are, oh boy, here we go. Let's, hopefully I got this all. Card base white, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then we're going to make a cut from one end. So let me fold this so I can show you. And then when I'm done showing you everything you're, we're going to need, we're going to do this together. So we're going to make a cut two, three, two and three quarters in at the starting of the crease. So put this in our cutter, come in two and three quarters, start at the crease and cut all the way down. That's what I was talking about. So there's our card base. Um, layer number one. Now I've done prep work because I didn't want this to take all day, guys. So layer number one, cut two pieces of boho blue right here, cut two pieces of boho blue, two and a half by four and cut on the diagonal. You'll want to do this twice. So I've already done them both. Can even see them. So there's my two pieces cut on the diagonal. Now I'm going to tell you for this, you just need to cut the diagonal for the DSP. It'll be a little, uh, a little different. So I'm going to lay those right here now for our dsp layer you're going to cut two i'm using the countryside in suite you could use the calypso coral base to cut down um i was just using the dsp because i have it so you could use this to do that card this card with you could use this one and use the knight of navy card base as the boho blue layer if you are so inclined so let's see. So, and we're going to cut these on the diagonal. And this is what I'm going to show you. This is how it goes. This one's going to have to get cut at a different diagonal for it to fit on the card. Just trust me. You'll see when we get it done. So there's that. Now we're going to use some circle punches just because they're so easy. Okay. I cannot help myself. Um, two and three eighths circle punch. Love this circle punch from Stamping Up. Thank you for bringing back the punch. A two inch circle punch. And that is, we're going to use these little flowers here. So let me show you. I'm using all three of those new punches. Two and three eighths, which is part of the circle sayings uh, bundle. The two inch circle punch, which is an online exclusive. And that one and three quarters inch circle punch, which is also an online exclusive. So I'm going to set those over there. So here we go. So two and three eighths, two inch and a one and three quarters. We're going to stamp on that one. Let me just clip those together. Not this one. Okay. So do, do, do. Yep. That just tells me what I'm going to stamp it in. We need it. Oh, here it is. I'm like, where is it? We need a one by five and a half inch strip of boho blue. And then we need a piece of DSP three and three quarters by five and a quarter. And that magically is already done for us. Look at that. A little bit of prep work here. It's already glued onto its counterpart. Then we need a piece of white that is one by seven scored at two, two and a half four and a half and five. This is our little pop up. It's going to go just like that. Okay. That's why making sure. Yes. There we go. That needs to go with our circles. So, and then for our elements from the kit, we're going to use these two small little vases and I have some leaves. This is balmy blue. We're not using balmy blue this morning. 
I sat here and I did a lot of die cutting with little scraps. So we're going to use this element. We're going to turn that one this way so it goes that direction. And then I'm going to show you the dies. And then I stamped and die cut this little flower to go on the vase. Where are those little dies at? This was the add-on, the welcome in dies. So I did quite a bit. I don't know if you can see all that stuff over there, but I did quite a bit of that today. So let me see. Those can go back to the pile. Um, I also brought in the small bloom punch and whatever this one was called. It was a pack of four years ago. Um, oh, no, not this one. Sorry. That was on my sample. Let me put that back. Bad, bad, bad. Um, so I did three of these um, small bloom punches, three in Night of Navy. And then when I was sitting here die cutting, these literally were an afterthought. That little tiny floral die, I just cut this at a scrap of the envelope. And we are going to add that like so and put one of those little blue enamel dots on there. And it's going to be lovely. So let's get started with our project. I'm going to hopefully not lose any of this stuff. Put it there. Put that there. Move everything back to the magnetic clipboard thing I have here sitting on my desk. And we're going to get on to our card base. And I'm going to try to do a much better job of lining up my dots on it. So give me a second to move all of that aside. And we need the cutter, trimmer, whatever you want to call it. Something you can score and cut on. So I'm going to bring my notes here. So we have our card base. Five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. I'm gonna open her up like so. Open this up. Now I don't need the scoring blade as of the moment, so I'm gonna bring it in. Here's two, two and three quarters of an inch. All right. So now I'm gonna hold this up while I get this in place. I want it to be at four and a quarter. And it might be easier for me to see it. <laughs> so here's four and a quarter. And there is this little groove right there, which lines it up. So it looks perfect. So I'm going to pop it in place and cut all the way down. Oh, yes. Perfect. So I am going to move my cutting blade all the way to the top. And the easiest way to do this is to fold one back and we are scoring from this where the center of where we cut to the outside corner both from the inside so it was easier for me to open it like so and then to position it like so so i'm putting that point there hopefully i get it right where i want it i'm going to bring this up Just got to get that in there. Okay, so there, point to point, that lined up really well. I'm going to flip that one back. I am taking my time. I want you to see this. So here we go. I think that looks really good because last, my sample, I did not get it scored. Oh, I missed just a hair of this one. So now we have our two score lines and we're going to put this away and that is all done. Um, I need it, the bone folder. Sorry, hit the camera stand as it bounces still. So this time I'm going to fold it back. I'm just folding it both ways. I start opening it up like a tent flap. Yeah, that just didn't get quite where 
it needed to just a hair off. Okay, but then it needs to go the other way, so I'm just pulling it back and forth. All right. So now looks like a men's collar. There's our fold. We're going to set this aside. Now I'm going to bring in the reason why I went ahead and did this early is because when I cut this, it's the same as cutting uh, the boho blue. So I don't think that's, you just cut it to let me make sure. Boho blue was cut at two and a half by four and it's scored on the, well, cut on the diagonal. This DSP is two and a quarter by three and three quarters and we're going to cut that on the diagonal. But what you need to remember, let me show you is these pieces fit like a puzzle. So those are going there, correct? This one is going down here. The cardstock layer really doesn't make a difference, but this piece does. Um, so I'm, I'm just telling you, when you cut your DSP, be aware of where it's going on this card. I made quite a few mistakes the first time around. So, this is my DSP, and I need to cut it from this corner to this corner for these two pieces to fit here. Otherwise, it would end up, if I cut it going this direction, I would have to have this side over here. So, I'm cutting for the right panel, I'm cutting from the left top corner to the right bottom corner. I'm going to put this, the guillotine works great at this. I just make sure I have that tip and this tip of the corners and cut. It's, it's not hard, but you do need to just pay attention. So I'm going to glue these now on their counterparts, keeping them like so, so they fit in there. Oh. Five hours in my garden yesterday. I, I can't bring myself to go back out there today. I still need some work, but I was up at six something this morning and I'm like, okay, time to go play with my paper pumpkin. Do another video. Wet glue is my friend. It allows me to do the wiggle wiggle on stuff. This one. I need to start maybe using a little bit more of the paper pumpkin, but there is so much to be had. Let's see. And if you'll notice on the small vase, it's this print just smaller. It's really cute. I love it. So now that we have our diagonal pieces, we can glue them in place. Don't get ahead of yourself when you're doing this card. Take it nice and easy. That's why I did so much prep work. But it should come together relatively quickly right now. And I was a little struck. I'm like, okay, what do you put on the front of a card that, you know, folds so many directions here? There's not like a solid anything to, to put anything on. No solid one piece to design around. So that's why I came up with those little flowers. I thought, oh, just something very simple. Now, if we had that little hello friend, like what came on this. Oh, wish we had that because that would go perfect right there. But I didn't do this in Calypso Coral. I should have, and then I could have used the hello front huh? It would have worked. So I am not putting any sentiment on the front of this card, just those little flower blooms. All right. Now this strip, magnets, 
is going on the inside here at the bottom. Make sure you get those flowers facing up and not down like I just had them. This is going to be where we're also going to put our vases. Now, you could do stamping. There is room. Even the circle here, you could put their name, your name, a little message. It's a great little card. I am just using the hello. You're going to see. Look how beautifully that's framed. And it still needs its little help. That's to stop it. That's what our little vases are going to be for. They're going to go on. Apparently, I missed some glue here. Let me fix that issue. All right. So, our little vases. We're going to get this bottom done. Look at so cute. It's just a mini version of it. So one's going one way, one's going the other. This morning I just sat out here and I just was die cutting a whole bunch of little scraps of paper. I'm like, yes, I can use this. We'll just get it all pre-done so I don't have to do it later. Just keep them out while I'm working. And that way you guys don't have to see me do all that die cutting. Oh, so, so darling dimensionals. Now I'm going to just stick one dimensional. Ah, I don't think I put enough glue on that apparently because I don't see any glue on it. All right. One and one. open our card up. This is going to go, let's see, we need it to go right there. So we just need it. Oh, perfect. Just like that. It's just going to catch it. So I want to open this one up, put it where this starts to help it, but I just want to make sure. So I'm just getting that right to the edge. Oops. Do not stay down. This one's like not quite there, so we got to do the same on this one. It's just that little top bit that is catching that. Look how pretty this is. Ah, okay, so mm, we need to do a little stamping. First, we're going to glue our circle together. Now, you could use that side if you wanted to, but I thought that was getting a little busy with the DSP. So, we're going to keep it with that little blue flowers. Now, this is the two and three eighths in the two inch circle punch. Now, let's go ahead and get this in place. This is our one inch strip by seven that we scored at two, two and a half, four and a half, and at five. Now what I'm going to do here is I am going to, you see how that just folds on in on itself? That's what we're going to let it do. And there we go. We're going to add glue to it, fold it nice and flat. And I'm going to give it a good crease on both ends. It's going to pop open like so. I want the thicker end at the bottom. That is going to, well, you know what? Do I want it at the top? No, I wanted it. You know what? We're going to keep that thicker end that where we folded it in on itself. That's going to be the top. We'll do it. Now the trick, that's the top is to get this. I'm going to put glue on both sides. Yeah, I'm being 
challenge. Uh, okay. I am going to glue this to this now, hopefully. There we go. And I want it popped up so that I get it in its right spot. The other one was a little low. This one needs to go in the center. Let's see. Oh, see, and it's going to fold down and pop up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so it's in place. Now we're going to stamp. Mm -hmm. Something to stamp on. I chose the Hello from the Layering Leaves right there because it's so pretty. And we're going to stamp in Night of Navy. You could do Boho Blue, but I wanted the nice dark night of navy oh, so dark. and that's all the inking we're going to do for this card so let's get my three flowers here this is going to get glued down in the center Pop that down. Oh, so dark. Pop. Oh. All right. So I thought I should have stamped it. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that. So these little, all of these blue flowers are going to get their little counterpart from the envelope. But I am going to take my bone folder or my nails. Nails aren't quite there yet. And give these a little turn up. And hang on, we are almost there. We can do this in like two minutes, I think. Be done with this card. going to add some glue to the center. I didn't even stamp on that and I don't want to. Just I didn't like it. I tried it and I didn't like it. I think the little blue enamel dots, the Knight of Navy dots, will look darling on these. And this one... There's two on this one. Oh, that's just where the envelope went over on itself. The edge from the back half is what that's from. So, I'm not sure if I want that on there. Okay, pop our card down. We are just going to add a couple of little flowers do I want to add another one? I'm not sure. Let's add them here. This is where I originally wanted them. I'm going to pop a glue a smudge right there. One on this side. Just to add a little interest. Where's my enamel dots? There we go. Pokey tool. Pokey tool. really should have like hello something down there and I would have to dig into something to find something to go there so go like that and I could do I could do it okay we we need to do that I don't know where my punch went though probably in the door since yes so we need this one and a scrap of Night of Navy, which I already have in my box of goodies. I should anyways. There it is. It is. From cutting up stuff. I need 
that one more. And I already have a little bit here. I think we're going to put some bling on the inside. Pull up those edges. Cover so much. And we're going to add one in this corner and one in this corner. Give it a little squishing around. It just needed a little bit of visual interest. And enamel dot. And let's grab bling, which is right here. So open that pops up and I want to give it a good crease so it actually there. So we're gonna have bling there, bling there, and a few on the inside, just little ones. Because after all, it is all about the inside of this card. So we're going to add one there. Nope, we're going to change that. We're going to put one here. And we're going to add one there. Yeah, I know, I'm changing my mind up just can't help myself in one there. So that is our card. Do 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 all done. I am so happy with it. And yes, it fits into an envelope, which I've been using the envelopes as envelopes. If I change my mind later, I can always get out a white envelope and add something. But for now, there you have it. My version of the double twisted easel card. Thank you all for watching and I hope you like it enough to give me a comment as I love them. And um, I want to thank you all for watching and come back and visit me in my wonderland. Bye bye now.